On today's episode of Wengel's Workshop, I'm going to be doing a review on the t Sprof K03 knife sharpener. Now if it looks a little marked up, it's because I'd already taken it out and used it a little bit. So I uh, had put it away and now I'm reassembling it. It basically comes with a nice weighted base to it um, that you could attach the basically the mechanism. If you want to keep it more lightweight, it has the ability to just clamp it to tables, but I decided to attach it to the base. And I think if you attach it to the base, you really won't need to clamp it down because it has a nice amount of weight to it. And then here is how you can flip the blade back and forth very easily. And then these knobs, which are on both sides, are how you adjust the angle of sharpening up and down. They make it extremely easy to change it. So now I'm going to screw the rod together, which holds the actual sharpening stones, and slide it through. It has stops on both sides. And you'll see I'll put the top stop on. I'm actually supposed to move one of the springs over to the top, you know, the top stop. And that will put springs on both sides of it so you're not running metal into the edges. And I thought that was a pretty nice touch to have those springs. So now I'm going to screw on the clamps where you actually clamp the blade in. And obviously this assembly was all pretty easy and straightforward. They also included a dedicated screwdriver for tightening these clamps in place which was, you know, obviously important. Um, so they included a, you know, set of diamond stones, 150, 220, 400, 600, and 1,000 grit. And I think that it's really important that you have diamond stones and not wet stones because the wet stones will become unflat and get gunked up and they kind of just cause problems. They also don't cut steel as well. So um, it's important to have diamond stones with these sharpeners. So this is the knife that I'm going to sharpen. I think that this was the third knife I ever made. So this shows that I was just doling the knife out and then showing that it can't even cut paper right now. Um, so I doled it out and we're going to test this thing out and sharpen it back up. So I went ahead and put some tape over the blade to prevent these clamps from scratching the, the blade, which is, you know, one of the potential things that you may find annoying is that you have to protect your blades from these clamps from scratching unless it's an old worn out knife. And then obviously you're not going to be worried about it. And then I'll go ahead and adjust the stops. This is where I realized I needed to move one of the springs up to the top. So I'll adjust the stops so you can't push the stone up too far or pull it out too far. And that will help eliminate some of the mistakes that might be made in doing so. So now I'll go ahead and loosen up the mechanism and install one of the stones. The thing kind of just slides up and down on the track and they, the stones will sit in a couple of grooves. And then you just push that piece back tight and then tighten it up with your fingers. Um, it's pretty simple to switch the stones in and out. And then here I'm just readjusting the stop and making sure it's in the right spot so that I don't make mistakes. So now I'll go ahead and adjust the angle and sharpen with the 150 grit stone until I get an even burr all the way across the edge. Once I get an even burr, I'll go ahead and flip the knife to the other side and repeat that same process until I can feel an even burr all the way down across the edge. At that point, I'll go ahead and swap the stones. So I'll continue to repeat this process, making sure that I get an even burr on both sides with every stone all the way up to a thousand grit. Once that's done, the knife should essentially be sharpened. I will go ahead and strop the knife after that just to make sure that I remove the burr and get it as sharp as possible. And then we will do some sharpness testing. So the knife came out razor sharp, and with that being said, I will go ahead and talk about the positive aspects and then some of the negative ones. So the first positive aspect that I'll say is that it is very easy to set up and the machine is engineered very beautifully. So it's, it's a really pretty device, it's engineered well, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything like that. It feels very sturdy. And there's a lot of little things that are engineered into it that are that are pretty clever. Um, and then it was easy to get the knife razor sharp, which I do have a difficult time doing the standard ways that I sharpen knives. So that was very nice to be able to just follow the process and end with a razor sharp knife. With that being said, the things that I see as potential negatives for this are number one, the price. It's over $700. I'm not saying it's not worth the $700, but it is a lot of money, you know, to come out of pocket for. 
Number two would be that there are clips that are sold separately. Um, one that is for short knives, like very short knives, and another set of clips that are for fully flat ground knives. Now, I was able to sharpen a short knife just using one clip, and I also think that you could sharpen fully flat ground knives with these clips. Those are the things that I see as a negative. I can't tell you whether I think that you should buy it or not buy it, um, but hopefully this video helps you make a decision. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, please hit that notification bell. And also, go follow me on Instagram. Thanks, guys.